day two. Um, sanded down the to that portion of the hole. The very bottom is uh, still needs sanding. I'm actually gonna just flip it over. Um, biggest progress today is there was a um, the guy had a live wheel, like a separate tub, but he had drilled a hole through the boat and fiberglassed in a porch right there, but it was done really crappy. So I ground up as much of that as I could. And um, it's not pretty in there by any means, but I'm gonna tell you, it is super solid. Um, what else? The, oh um, gee. So the blue paint that they put on there, I'm pretty sure it was household paint. When I say household, I think it was water-based paint. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, it might have been Rust-Oleum enamel or something, but it, it's rolling off like like uh, household paint. That's crappy. Um, fiberglassed up the holes. Uh, there was a big hole with that live well pump. Went to the live well. The output of the live well went to a two-inch hole on the side of the boat there. Fiberglassed that up smoothed it out uh, got <laughs> every time i think i've got all the holes patched i find another one um, this boat has lived a long long life and probably been through quite a few people um still got some sanding to do uh it's hard to tell i mean there's still some inventions and stuff just rough sanded that uh, as I was filling holes in, but, um, uh, all that was full of holes. Yeah, there were screws. Like, as I was sanding, I kept finding screws just screwed into it on the inside. Uh, no idea what it was doing. And apparently at some point they had something there and they just took it, removed it and, um, put screw back in. Um, there was a hole, well, there was a hole in that side. And I kind of took a wooden, I took a wooden stick, poked down in it, and didn't feel like there was much of the foam left. So went and got some expanding foam, drilled a couple of holes in it, one to breathe and one to put it in, and I filled that compartment full of foam. Did the same thing on this side. Um, there, these holes that I filled in up here, um, I could see the foam down below it. So it was still solid. Um, so there's some sections of it that, that are feel real good. So uh, this is more work than I had planned on doing, but it's all right. Once I got into it, kind of, I'm kind of ready for it. Um, I got to go back over this side. I'm just going to go ahead and get all the paint off, all the blue. Um, yeah. And something I did when I <coughs> fiberglass that hole there. I actually filled that area full of expanding foam um, to give me a good surface area and uh, put a, a layer of matte fiberglass and then sanded it down. Then I put some of the fiberglass Bondo type stuff over it to try to make it as smooth as possible. It looks like gooky right now, but um, a little paint on it, you'll never notice it. But there's also, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if we can see it. Uh, Yeah, so that's tape. That was to keep the expanding foam from uh, coming out. <laughs> so I, when I flip it over, I'm gonna put a layer of fiberglass and repair that area as well. What else? I guess about it. Um, I'm gonna get this thing back to its like working form. One thing that I will do eventually, I'm not gonna do right now. Not during this, I'm gonna get some paint, I'm gonna get some uh, top coat and some gel coat on the bottom. Um, I've changed my mind on that. I was gonna put top coat paint on the bottom, but I think now that I'm taking it all the way back to the original gel coat, I think I'm just gonna get roll on, paint on, uh, brush on, gel coat. Um, the transom has been kind of jerry-rigged. It looks nasty on the back side of that plate right there. I'm not gonna mess with it right now. Um, you can tell that 
I think the transom gave way and there's a there's a crack right yeah where's it at yeah right here there's a crack that was right there and the fiberglass in the area you can see it's kind of misshapen um, it looks like maybe it at some point the, the transom had kind of gave I mean, but it's fairly straight now and they've got something going on in there to stiffen it up. Um, can't really tell what they've done, but I'm gonna leave that alone right now. I'm literally just gonna tape off that metal plate, sand all the fiberglass and stuff around it and paint around that and uh, mount the motor back to it. Um, I am gonna put a uh, bilge pump. I'm gonna mount it in that little trough right there so that as water, if water does, get in the boat it will collect here and uh, it can pump it out and probably going to come up here uh, somewhere maybe maybe even out the side oh sorry I'm going to plumb it out either go through the transom or come out this side here it'd be easier to come out the side but we'll see uh, how that works out uh, day two I still got uh, good ways to go I think one more good day I'll have um, this main section on the side here sanded. Um, I don't know. I got to find somebody to help me flip this thing over carefully and get up underneath it. Or, oh, it's going to suck if I have to get on my back and sand overhead. <clears throat> that would really suck, but we'll do it. Um, it's not... I'm trying to alleviate how messy it is. Uh, I'm looking for my adapter right now. Well, anyway, basically, I got this sander. I don't see it. It's laying here somewhere in some of the jump. This sander has an output. usually has a little bag hanging off of it. Took the bag off, took that adapter, and uh, kind of duct taped to the end of the hose. So the vacuum running the whole time. So it you still get some on the floor, but but you don't get it in the air. You don't get it floating around. Um, I still got to do the floor more. <laughs> Sorry, I got neighbors. Uh, I still got to sand the rest of the floor. I did some of it. They had something fiberglass in back there. I smoothed that out. Um, yeah, a lot more work than I'd originally planned for. They did a really crappy uh, non-skid, I guess. It looks like they took play sand and put it in the paint, the white and uh, painted the bottom with it and it's junk it's absolute junk so I, <clears throat> it just tears up my sandpaper trying to sand it um it's eating it up so i'm trying to get everything else done and then i'll focus on the floor and then uh once i get the floor done i'll flip it and do the very bottom and uh then we start wiping this thing down and get a coat of paint on it all right eight minutes of me talking sorry day two in the books <laughs>